Hello friends, welcome to my channel Technical Arquen, myself Arnup Kundu. Today I will discuss some problem which is solved by programming language like C. So go to the computer screen. Hello friends, today I will discuss the another triangle problem which is a Pascal triangle. Okay, the problem is that write a program in C to draw the Pascal triangle as follows means in a first row this is a single one second row contain 2 1 third row contain 1 2 1 fourth row contain 1 3 3 1 fifth row contain 1 4 6 4 1 and sixth row contain 1 5 10 10 5 1 so in that case I am already discussed in my previous video this type of problem can be solved using nested for loop and the outermost for loop indicates the row number and innermost for loop indicates some inner loop indicates the spaces and some inner loop indicates the pattern whatever printed within the triangle okay so go to the c i d e i will solve this problem easily right so today i will discuss the another triangle problem also known as triangle pattern which is pascal triangle okay so in that case this triangle contain in your first row only one one second row contain double one third row contain one two one fourth row contain one three three one fifth row contain one four six four one and sixth row contain one five ten ten five one okay so in that type of problem if we want to solve so already solved in my previous video so in that case what happened we should take nested loop the outermost loop indicates the row number and innermost loops define the printing pattern of the space and the printing pattern of the digit for the Pascal triangle is concerned or any triangle is concerned okay so in that case what happened at first we take the header file hash include stdio.h okay and then take int main function and within that we are just declare the variable r comma s comma i comma j comma cf and put some initial value which is 1 okay and after that we just write printf and within double quote we just write here enter the number of rows okay and after we just close this printf put a semicolon and after write scanf and just write here percent d and just write ampersand r here r indicates the row number okay and now we just provide the outermost for loop so just write here for i equal to 0 i less than r okay and just write i plus plus okay and this is your outermost for loop and within that we are providing two innermost loop okay so first innermost loop is again for and just write s equal to 1 semicolon just write s less equal r minus i semicolon and s plus plus okay and this for contain only one statement so don't need to provide these braces so just write here printf and just put the spaces within the double quote and here i just provide two spaces this is one and this is another okay and then close it okay now we put another for okay means another inner for is concerned so here we just write j equal to 0 j less equal i semicolon and then write j plus plus okay and now put the braces and within that we provide the condition and according to that condition it will print the following pattern for pascal triangle okay and the condition is that within that if we just write j equal equal 0 or i equal equal 0 okay and in that case we just write cf which is already declared as a variable put a value 1 okay and within the else part we just put the value of cf is cf equal cf asterisk within parenthesis just write i minus j plus 1 okay and divided by j and put a semicolon okay and this is the end of your else part now what happened within this this innermost for loop we provide a statement which is printf 
and just write percent 4d put a comma and just write cf and put a semicolon okay and what does mean percent 4d the format specifier percent 4d is used to print with a minimum field width of four characters right if the integer is less than four characters white printf will insert extra blanks to align the output right so this is the end of your innermost for and this is the end of your outermost for so before end we are just put here another statement printf and put within double quote new line which provide the next row is concerned okay and after that what we are just close our main so just write return zero okay now we just save that file so go to the file go to the save option put a name just write pascal underscore triangle and put a extension dot c because this is a c program okay and save it after go to the execute button and press compile and run so this is the window is there and just written enter the number of rows and according to our example just put the number of rows is six and press enter so this is the output where we get the pascal triangle right I hope that you have understood today's topic. For more videos, keep watching my channel Technical Arquin. Thank you and bye bye.